doubles and coffee. I could think long and hard before doing this video. But I'm going to do it to a fella that I speak well with and I tolerate his difference of opinion and so on. Mr. Larry Lala, my brother, you need to stop it. I see you posting up after a successful United National Congress, National Congress yesterday with thousands of people, with reports to the population, with motions, with excellent camaraderie and family showing strength of the UNC. I see you, you're circulating a video calling two supporters, UNC thugs and attacking Kamala because they interrupted uh, a pundit from giving his, op his opinion and so on, which of course, we in the United National Congress do not condone. Everybody should have free speech to be able to talk and so on. But do not call supporters thugs. Understand this, Larry Lala. While we do not condone the behavior, politics is not a game for many. Politics for you may be a game because you're an excellent attorney and you make lucrative briefs and in your family you have two brilliant people who make salaries and you are comfortable to some people and many people on the ground in masses this is life and death this is being able to feed their children this is their children waking up in the morning and looking at them crying hungry and they have no money to feed their children this is not a game this is not about a senatorial position for them or being an mp or getting their picture in the paper for thousands of people, politics will impact their lives and the lives of their families, their children. Many of them have lost loved ones due to violence and crime. Many of them do not know if they will survive this year because they have no jobs. Over 150,000 people have lost jobs. So when people have listened to you, I have listened to you. I've heard every argument you've made. And you've, your arguments are found wanting. I disagree with you. I'm allowed to disagree with you. 95% of the UNC membership or more disagrees with your position. We allow you to speak, yet you are coming here to continue to damage the party when we are in a fight against the most evil prime minister and the most evil government in the history of Trinidad and Tobago. This frustrates the people. So you have to understand, don't call supporters on the ground thugs. Their life experience and their pain is exacerbated because of their position. Don't look at others from your comfortable position upon a pedestal of comfort to play games with politics for little uh, trinkets. This politics thing is a very serious thing. So while we do not ever want to interrupt people from speaking and we do not want to get angry and so on, we, me, I, the UNC, we understand that this is not a game. Many people are dying, their children are starving. So why didn't you share when I, Anil Roberts, Senator, chosen by Kamala Prasad Bissessa to represent 309,000 people, why you didn't show and tell people that I sat down, I greeted the four people, the pundit and those who have a different opinion. I met them with respect and love and reverence. I uh, may not agree with their point, but I treated them with courtesy. I treated them and, and made them feel comfortable. When you weren't there, they were there. They were brave enough to come into thousands of people knowing that the people didn't agree with them. You and whoever else you came with, the three people came in the darkness of the night. And now you are trying to promote and attack UNC membership that they're thugs. No, they're not thugs. Was their behavior inappropriate? Yes. But do I understand it? Yes. Because it's not a game for them. It's life and death of their children and their families. You won't understand that because you don't empathize with them. You only think about yourself and what little position and if you could make a front page. That's not a, what people are about. We are in the fight of a lifetime for our country and for our people. So Mr. Larry Lala, with all due respect, this is your boy Anel talking. Stop it now. You're embarrassing yourself, really and truly. We've heard your position. We heard your arguments. The electorate heard your arguments. They rejected it resoundingly like never before. So either join and help, use your intellect to build and change policy, improve the party to deal with the PNM enemy, the tyrannical oppressor, the dictatorship, 
No democracy in Trinidad and Tobago. The mass media that is poisoning the minds of the population with lies. Join and fight for our country. Or, with all due respect, go and join your PNM if that's where you would like to be. But do not call our membership thugs because they are passionate about protecting their families. Do not do that. Do not try to create and exacerbate issues. Politics is not a game. You may be comfortable, but 80% of this population is suffering, is fearful, and the PNM must go. So either unite and help, discuss, argue, give different positions, create a platform, or go your way. Because you've been heard and you've been rejected. Larry Lala, my brother. Okay? God bless you, you know.